The aim of this experiment is to find out the refractive index of the material of the prism. For this, we will be finding out the angle of prism and the angle of minimum deviation of the prism. So in the first part, we will find the angle of the prism. Coming to the experimental setup, we have done the initial adjustments for the spectrometer. So the light source is there, this is the collimator, we will mount the prism. The prism has to be mounted with the grounded rough base onto the stand. We will clamp all the main screws first. The vernier table is clamped with the main screw. The prism is mounted in such a way that base of the prism faces us. So that when light falls from the collimator, it falls onto this face of the prism and it gets reflected to this direction. Here also the light falls on the second face and gets reflected to this direction. So all we have to do is observe that reflected rays with the help of this telescope. In figure, I can show it like this. The base of the prism is kept facing us. So when light comes from the collimator, it gets reflected on this face as well as on this face. So the telescope is focused onto this reflected image and the reading is taken and also telescope is focused on to this reflected ray and the reading is taken on the main scale and one year scale to get the total reading. The difference between the two telescopic readings will give you some 2A while A is the angle of the prism. It is a principle in optics that when the angle of incidence is turned through angle A then the reflected rays will be turned through 2A. The difference between these two readings is 2A. So we can find out what is the angle of prism from this. So release the telescope. Move on to this direction. Observe through the telescope where the light ray is. Fix the telescope with your main screw. Use your fine screw to just coincide with the slit exactly. Then take your vernier 1 reading and then your vernier 2 reading. Vernier 1 reading will have its main scale reading as well as vernier reading. Similarly, here also you will have a main scale reading and a vernier reading, coinciding vernier division. While taking reading, make it a point to always use a magnifier glass to observe the coinciding vernier division and take the exact main scale division. Now we will release the telescope and move it to the other side to observe the reflected ray from the second phase. Once you observe it, clamp the main screw. Use the fine screw to exactly coincide with the cross wire. Then again take your vernier 1 reading, MSR and VSR. Then vernier 2 reading, MSR and VSR. You will get the total reading. So now we have got two readings and the difference between these two readings will be twice the angle of prism. From that you will be able to calculate the angle A. Coming to the observation column, reading of the image reflected from the first phase or AB will take the one year one reading and one year two reading. Then reading of the image reflected from the second phase or AC that is one year one reading and one year two reading. The difference between this reading and this reading would give you twice the angle of prism. Re reading difference between this reading and this reading will again give you twice the angle of prism 2A. 
Our next thing would be to find out the angle of minimum deviation of the prism. In figure, I can show the arrangement like this. The incident ray enters the prism and gets refracted. So here it is refraction of light. It bends when it enters from one medium to another. If this is a direct ray, this ray is now getting deviated through an angle D. I'll call this small d initially because this is an angle of deviation. Now, I can make this angle of deviation minimum by rotating this prism to a suitable position so that this angle of deviation becomes angle of minimum deviation or in other words, this angle will decrease. The experimental setup, it is easier to keep it in this way because we need the angle of incidence to be acute for this purpose. So as a hint, I would suggest for this equilateral prism, if you keep one of the reflecting faces facing us, then the incident ray would be at an acute angle. It will go parallel to the base under minimum deviation condition and emerge out. So if you put your telescope under this position, you can observe the minimum deviated angle. Earlier, to find the angle of prism, we placed the base of the prism facing us. Now, we will release the vernier table and rotate the vernier table so that one of the reflecting face face us. This is the direct ray position. Now, I will release the telescope and move it to observe the refracted image. Okay, now I am able to see the refracted image. So this is the direct image. Now this is the refracted image. So the angle between this direct image and the refracted image is the angle of deviation small d as we have seen in the figure. Now our aim would be to make this deviated angle minimum as far as possible. For this, what we have to do is release the vernier table and rotate the vernier table in such a way that this deviated ray comes towards the direct. Now you can see the beam through the telescope while rotating the vernier table the beam is moving towards my right it's going right 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 it has stopped there for a moment and now it starts retracing. So the point I want is the stationary point. So I'll do it once again. I'm turning the vernier table. The image goes right, right, right. For a moment it stops there and this is the point of minimum deviation. Now clamp the vernier table with the main screw under this minimum deviation condition. Now I would like to check the reading. For that purpose release the telescope and keep the telescope cross wire exactly on that minimum deviation line. Under this position, clamp the main screw of the telescope. Use the fine screw to exactly make it coincide with the cross wire. Now we will take the reading. For this purpose, always when you are taking the vernier scale reading, make it a point to use the magnifier glass. So, Take the MSR and VSR of the vernier 1 and similarly take the MSR and VSR of vernier 2. Now that we have taken the refracted or minimum deviation position reading, now we will go for the direct image reading. For that, turn the telescope to the direct image position. If you want, you can remove the prism also so that the image will be clear. So keep the slit on the cross wire. Clamp the main screw. Adjust the fine screw to exactly coincide it. Then take the vernier 1 reading using the magnifier lens and also 
the vernier 2 reading using the magnifier lens. So now that you have got your direct reading and the refracted reading, the difference between them will give you the angle of minimum deviation, capital T. Coming to the observation column, we'll take the reading of the refracted ray, vernier 1 and vernier 2 reading. And then we will go for the direct image reading for vernier 1 and vernier 2. The difference between these two readings will give you the angle of minimum deviation. Here also angle of minimum deviation from these two readings. And the average of it can be taken as capital D, the angle of minimum deviation. Once the angle of prism A and angle of minimum deviation D is measured, we can find out the refractive index of the material of the prism mu as sine a plus d by 2 by sine a by 2. Thank you.